to write. Ha, you have to write with them. I'm giving you some sums. Okay. So just, just I'm giving you some questions for practice and then we'll start with other chapter. It's a date and they get 29. Minus fifteen plus minus sixteen plus fifteen. Start doing these sums. Ayobi, are you doing in your maths notebook? Yes, yes children. Yes, ma'am. Okay.
मैम कैन यू टेल मी हाउ टू सॉल्व माइनस फिफ्टी माइनस सेवेंटी व्हिच क्वेश्चन मैम लाइक इन अ प्रोसीजर ऑफ क्वेश्चन थ्री हाउ टू सॉल्व माइनस फिफ्टी माइनस सेवेंटी बिगर नंबर इज पॉजिटिव सो सेवेंटी माइनस फिफ्टी इज ट्वेंटी Hurry up, please. Very fast.
Mom, I'm done doing the sums. Okay. Good. Now I'll ask each one of you. Okay. So Neha, tell me the first answer. Mom, the first answer is minus sixty. Minus sixty. Okay. Havish, tell me the next one. And what? Tell me the next answer, number two. The number two answer is the minus eight. Minus eight, okay. Neha, you got the same answer? Yes, ma'am. Huh. Other children should also keep a track, okay, whether the answers are correct or not. Okay. Okay, this is already plenty we have discussed. Okay. Next, Neha, tell me this one. Mom, it's negative seven. Very nice. Bhavesh, tell me this one. And fifth one? Yes, fifth one with us. And fifth one answer is zero. Zero, very good. Okay. Yeah. Neha, tell me this one. Mom, uh, sixth one. Negative 1,432. 1,432? 1, yes. Okay. Bhavish, you also got the same answer? Bhavish, you also got the same answer? Yes, ma'am. Okay, very nice. Now next, Bhavish, it's your turn. Ma'am, uh, ma'am, eighth one. Yes. Ma'am, seventh one answer is... Uh, and plus two. Two. Very good. Yes, ma'am. Okay, Neha, tell me this one. Ma'am, negative 20. Negative 20. Okay. Bhavesh, you got the same answer for this? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Okay, Bhavesh, it's your turn now. Um, I didn't do the last two. Huh. You didn't Be do the last them. two? Please do. Do them. Yeah. Neha, you tell me the last one, ninth, tenth one. Mom, it's um seven hundred eleven. Negative seven hundred eleven. One. Seven hundred one. Yes. Okay. Bhavish will give us the answer of this one. Bhavish, do the ninth one and tell me the answer. Okay, we'll now do about fractions. Your yeah, next topic here is fractions. Done, Bhavish? Bhavesh, quickly give me the answer of this. I'm done, ma'am. The answer, tell me the answer. I'm plus 165. Okay. Good. Okay, children. So, this is now created here. But I'll keep sharing some worksheets of, of integers. Okay. <laughs> so that we keep revising this also at the same time. We'll start with the new chapter also. And that is fractions. Okay, now coming to the fraction part. What are fractions? Fractions are equal parts of whole numbers, equal divisions of whole numbers. Fractions are equal parts of a whole number. So you can say a 
fraction is a part of the whole. Suppose if I have this, okay, like this, a chapati, right? You all know about chapati. If I just take half of this, if I make two equal parts of this, okay, and I give a one to you, so that means I'm left with another half part. Okay, if I divide the two parts in among both of you, one is given to me, huh? And the other half part is given to Bhavish. Right? Right? So, I can write it like this. This is one complete. One complete is, what do we call it as? One complete, we call it as one whole. whole. Okay? The whole thing. See, no? the one whole thing. Okay, one whole apple, one whole chapati, one whole something, whatever. And if I have to take, divide it into equal parts. So here I have made two equal parts. So if I divide it into two equal parts, that means I have taken out of two parts, I have taken one part separate and I have taken another part separate. So out of the two parts, these are the two parts. I have taken one part separate, okay? And one part separate. So this is half part, this is half part. Okay, out of the two parts, this is one part. So, I will write as one by two. Out of the two equal parts, this is half part. Okay, out of the two equal parts, this is one part. Are you understanding? So, in this, yes, what does this upper number represents? The upper number represents the numerator. Okay? Yes, ma'am. The lower number represents the denominator. Right, children? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma uh, suppose if I have a circle now, I just divide it into four equal parts, like this one, two, three, four equal parts. Okay, this is one part of it. Now, these are how many total equal parts? Four. Three, one by four. four. Uh, so, total number of parts are written in the denominator. And yes. how many parts I'm taking away? Suppose if I take one part away of from it. So, that means I'm taking one part out of it. Okay? Yes, yes ma'am. Okay? Or I can say how many parts are shaded here. So, that means out of these four parts, I have shaded one part. So, I can write it as one by four. That means out of total of four parts, I have shaded one part. Now, if I shade two parts out of these four, that means what will be my fraction then? Ma'am, two, by, two four. by four. Yes, my fraction will be then two by four. Okay, if I shade now three parts out of four equal parts, then my fraction will be? Ma'am, three by four. Three by four. Okay. If I shade all the four parts out of the four equal parts, then my fraction will be? Ma'am, four by four. Four, four by, by four. four. So when, which I, is one. Yeah. Which so, when is... I get numerator equal to the denominator, when both numbers become same, then it becomes one whole. Okay? It becomes whole. And here it was fraction. Fraction means part. Part of a whole. Okay? Fraction means part of a whole. This is some part of a whole. Two parts out of the whole complete. Three parts out of four. Okay? Like this. So, fraction is what? Part of a whole. Please write down. You can write in your notebook also. What is fraction? Please write for fraction. Fraction is part of a whole. I'm done. Okay, we're done. Done now. Okay. For example, you can write here. For example, you can see 
I'm taking a fraction 5 by 6. Suppose if I take a fraction 5 by 6. So what does this mean? That out of 4 equal, 6 equal parts. That means out of, suppose I have this. Out of 6 equal parts, 1, 2, 3, like this. Okay, I'm just taking it like this. So as to show me equal parts. Okay, so out of six equal parts, I am shading the five parts. Okay, that means out of the total of six parts, I am shading five parts. So I can write it as five by six. So here, yeah, five is the numerator. You can please write down this for example. Five is the numerator. And 6 is the denominator. The one which is written below this line are called denominator. How will you remember this that I call, this, or call it a denominator? B for down. Is it? Yes. Okay. So 5 is up. And 6 is down. Right? So B for denominator. This is just the memory tape I am giving you so that you don't confuse with the numerator and denominator. Sometimes children start thinking whether this upper one is denominator or this is denominator or this one is numerator or this one is numerator. So, okay. so just to avoid the confusion B for down, this number is written down, no? B for down and B for denominator. You get it? Okay. If yes, you remember one, the other one is, you don't need to remember the other one. Okay. If you know the denominator, that means the other part is numerator. Right? B for yes, double and B for denominator. Okay. So let's take some examples on this. I'll give you some fractions. Okay, so then if I think like this, I say now these are all equal parts. And what if I take unequal parts like this? Suppose if I have this figure, say, these are four parts. But these are not all four equal parts. Can I say this is... Uh, huh. Right? When they are equal. Hmm? They are not equal. All figures are equally divided. Not equally divided. For making a fraction. Okay? So in this case you can see that each shape is not equally divided. Right? They are not equally divided into equal parts. So, okay? So the given figure does not represent any fraction. Mom, so if the parts are not equal, it's not a fraction? Uh, it's just a part. Okay. Okay? Yes, ma'am. So it's just a part of it. We cannot say that these are equal parts. We cannot write like this one by four. Because these four parts are not equal. Okay? Yes, ma'am. Suppose if I take a triangle and I divide it into like this. If I divide this the lower part. So can I say that this, this is half of it? No. Can no. I call it half of a triangle? So I cannot call half. No? Okay. This is some part of it. But it's not. The parts are not equal. Okay. So I cannot call it a fraction. So this is some part of it. But not a fraction. Right? Yes, ma'am. Okay. If I take a question, what fraction of a day is eight hours? What fraction? Of a day is eight hours. Now, how will you find this fraction? What fraction of a day is 8 hours? Mom, 1 third. 
because because if I have to divide the whole day into parts, I in whole day I have twenty four hours. Is it? Yes, one equal to twenty four hours. That means I have divided one day in twenty four hours. And if I am talking about eight hours, then what fraction is it? Um, what are the total number of hours? And I am eight by twenty four. Yes, and I am talking about eight hours, so that becomes eight by twenty four. You get it? Ma'am, three. So, this can be written as eight by twenty four. Now, this can be reduced to any simple form. Eight ones are eight, and eight three is twenty four. So, I can write it as in simple form one by three. Okay. So, yes. I will not write big numbers, and I will write in small numbers one by three. Okay. Now take another example. Suppose if I have this figure, okay, these all figures are equally divided, and if I shade one part here and one part here, so now what fraction is this? One two by four. Yes, this is two out of these four parts. Okay, so total are the four parts, and two are the two bits. So two by four, that means two by four can be written as one by two. One by two. How do I write one by two? I can reduce this. I can divide two by four. If I divide both numerator and denominator by two, so two by two is two. Two by two. I can write it like this. One by two. Yes. Okay. This is just the introduction, beta. Today, okay. Tomorrow we'll do more sums on this. Today is just I'm just only introducing you the fraction part, right? Okay. Yes. So when we talk about fraction, we come across different types of fractions. Okay. Fraction is not only one thing. We have different types of fractions. We call it as proper fraction. We call it improper fraction. We have mixed fractions also. Right. Yes. Yes, ma'am. Uh, so we'll study about that also. What is improper fraction? What is proper fraction? What are equivalent fractions? So different types of fractions we will understand. So I'm not taking much deep into that. It's just the introduction part. So that because we have other two children also sitting here today. Okay. okay. Suppose if I tell you. What fraction of a day is six hours? So tell me that. What? What fraction of a day is six hours? What? Um, six by twenty-four. Yes. Uh, what fraction of a day is six hours? So total number of hours in a day are how many? We will take day and, and twenty-four. Twenty-four. Okay, so twenty-four are the total hours. And I am talking about six hours out of it. So that's six by twenty-four. And if you want to reduce it, these both can go with one number. Can both be divided by one number. That is six. Yes. So I take six ones are six. I am six ones. And one by four. Okay, children. Yes. One by four. Very good. Okay. Good topic. Okay. If I talk about what fraction of an hour is. What fraction of an hour is forty-five minutes? No, forty-five by sixty. Ah, see, what fraction of an hour? So, in an hour, how many minutes I have? No, sixty, 60. minutes. Sixty. Sixty. No, as I was saying, what fraction of a day is six hours? So, in a day, I had twenty-four hours. Okay. So, in an hour, I have how many minutes? Sixty. Okay, and I'm talking about how many minutes? Forty-five minutes. I'm interested in forty-five minutes, no? Yes. What fraction of an hour is forty-five? So that becomes forty-five by sixty. So forty-five by sixty can be reduced by the with smaller number. Three by four. Yes. Three by four. Three by two. Okay, three by two. Right, children? Yes, ma'am. 
Okay, then I divide by 15. These both come in the table of 15, so it becomes 3 by 4. I hope you are understanding this today's. And if I say what fraction of a minute is 20 seconds? What fraction of a minute is 20 seconds? Like 20 by 60. Uh -huh. So in one minute, there are 60 seconds. Okay. Yes. yes. Yes, Bhavesh. So I can reduce this by. Uh, I see here if I divide this by 10, so that means the zeros will go away. I'll get 2 by 6. Is it? And again, further, if I divide this by 2, whatever number I'm dividing here, I have to divide by the same number in the numerator also in the denominator also. So this becomes 1 by 1 by 3. Okay. I'm showing you step by step. Otherwise, I could have taken here 20. Just directly divide by 20. But I'm not taking with big numbers. Okay. To so do with small numbers. Right, children? Yes. Okay. So, don't, so that you don't make mistakes. Once you are concept, thorough with the concept, you can do, take big numbers. Right? Yes, sir. So when you have zeros to 110 here, so in short, I could say this, you can cancel even 1010. 0, 0. Okay, to just, I'm showing you to make your calculation easy. When we have numbers written like this, so we say like this, zeros and zeros can be cancelled. Why we say zeros and zeros can be cancelled? Because when we are dividing with 10, 10 2 is 20, 10 6 is 6. Okay? Okay. Yes. yes. If I have suppose number 100 by 300, so what do we do? Now we cancel the two zeros in both two. numbers. Ah, so if there are same number of zeros, same number of zeros in the numerator and denominator, we cancel them. But what do you mean by cancelling actually? Cancelling is nothing actually. Okay, we don't cancel anything as such. It is actually dividing the numbers by hundred. When we divide both numbers, come in uh, can be divis are divisible by hundred. So hundred into one will be hundred only. Hundred into three will be three hundred. Okay, like this. Are you understanding? Yes, ma'am. This is called actually reducing it to a simple form. Okay. Yes. Okay. So we'll talk about more about fractions in our next class also. So today just revise. Okay. Whatever we have done in the class. What is fraction? What is the part of a whole? Okay. So fraction is when we are dividing something into equal parts. And when we are dividing it into unequal parts, then we don't call it a fraction. Okay. That is only some part, but not a fraction. Right? Yes, ma'am. Okay, so thank you for today, children. Thank you, beta. So your work you. today will be just to revise class work. Okay, we have just done the introduction part of this. Your homework will be to revise class work. Okay, to revise class work. And I'll give you some questions on integers. Right? Yes, ma'am. Integer questions will be given to you. Thank you, beta. Thank you, ma'am. Have a nice day. Thank you, Vita. You too.